welcome. We're going to start by creating a session setup. Um, we're going to go and browse and check a uh, folder as to where we're going to save this session. Then we'll go in by listing in the session information, which will be the city and state, the start and end date of the camp, um, the number of campers in the camp, and the number of clinicians at the camp, and we'll save that session. Next, we'll go and check the session info to make sure that the information has been saved, uh, and in fact, it has. Then we'll go back to our user options and go to our clinician setup. We'll begin by typing in the last name of the clinician, which is Bodhi, followed by his first name, Bruce, and then his degree that he holds. Uh, in this case, it's MD, but there also could be opportunities for registered nurses or nurse practitioners to be in. We'll save that and exit that session and then move on to the camper uh, setup. Under camper setup, we'll begin by entering the last name, first name, middle initial, the date of birth, the gender, the cabin assignment, and the clinician assignment to that camper. As you can see, there's options for drop down for clinician assignments. Um, as well as for the cabin assignments. We'll exit that, go to the camper setup again. Go ahead by entering the last name of the camper, first name, middle initial, as well as his date of birth, gender, cabin assignment, and clinician assignment. The option under clinician assignment to assign a different clinician at any time. Additionally, we'll begin by entering the treatment information, uh, the date diagnosed, the last AIC, the insulin types, which has a drop down, delivery method, um, how in fact they're going to be taking the insulin, the correction factor. Dawn, the HS, the IC ratio at breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then snack. Now these are all information that a clinician uses on a regular basis. Next we'll record an entry. Uh, since most of the camper IDs have been entered, um, we'll go ahead and uh, just choose one, uh, which will then populate the first name, uh, middle initial, last name, and cabin number. Put the date of the reading, the blood glucose level, the time, um, when in fact the reading was taken, the carbs, the bolus, and the correction, and then save that record. Now that we've entered that data, we want to look at what the camp reports can do. Now the camp reports can give us a blood glucose reading for each day, and at what point during the day those readings took place, as well as on a day-over-day -day basis so that we can track and compare. Now what we can do is look at it on a camp-wide basis. Uh, we can select individuals to enter and then take a look at what their glucose readings are uh, for the camp as a whole. Uh, this will give us a good idea as to whether or not perhaps there's something in the diet that might be causing campers uh, glucose levels to spike and or drop, and then allow us to adjust um, what the current diet is of those people. We can overlay that on a day-by-day -day basis, to see if um, perhaps this is an anomaly or if this is a, a pattern that we're seeing, uh, as I said, day over day. This brings us to the end of our tutorial. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you.